Backyard Baseball, Pablo Sanchez. I have fond memories of these absolute classics. I remember the wide cast of goofy and likable characters. Uh. I want to play baseball. Just the absolute gems of a video game. The original came out in 1997, which I've played many times on this channel. Very successful franchise that spawned many sequels. And with that much success, you're bound to have copycats. And that's the focus of today's video. Unfortunately for these copycats, they're not so good. XS Junior League Football. I had never heard of it until I was investigating random games to play. XS Junior League Football came out in 2003 alongside XS Junior League Dodgeball. In the following year, they released XS Junior League Soccer. None of them performing that well. The review scores are quite low for these games. And in some cases, there's not even reviews whatsoever. And the box art of these games are actually kind of nightmare fuel. I mean, just look at this dude throwing this soccer ball as a dodgeball right here. Those bug eyes are going to haunt me in my nightmares. Or what about this dude's hair right here? Like, how does this kid even see anything? Who let him be the quarterback? And for games that came out much later than the 1997 Backyard Baseball, these games look significantly worse. Graphics are terrible. They play this like screaming children sound on loop over and over. And it's going to drive me insane. So I'll try to keep the volume much lower for you guys. And just looking at these characters, you can kind of see the resemblance of some of the Backyard Sports kids. But at the same time, they also look very generic. Right as we load up the menu, it's, we're just met with hip-hop music for some reason. Our only options here are arcade or tournament. Might as well play the tournament mode. But now we get to choose our team. And as you can see, they're not set up on bleachers like the iconic backyard baseball. They're just photos on a brick wall. And the stylization is much worse. I mean, they're just like little bars to fill up that are all pink for some reason. Walter, Sherman, Rosie, Mona, Julie, I mean, this kid's very creative right here. He's blue and he also has blue hair. I wonder why they call him that. Tyrone. Is that supposed to be Dante just reimagined? Oh, there's the kid with the hair. Peter. <laughs> yeah, that kid can't see a damn thing. Mike, Dallin, Mark an Elmer who looks like a completely different model than everybody else. I think this Mark guy is supposed to be the Pablo Sanchez cop because he seems the most balanced at everything. Even these attributes are kind of generic. Offense, defense, kicking, agility, strength, handling. I think there's a lot that goes into that. Is defense just tackling? Is it block shedding? Or is it all of the above? Julie seems to be a legend at kicking. But Mark seems like the clear number one choice. He's so balanced. They went with Dallin, the backwards hat kid. The kids in the hat are always the coolest. Fastest kid out here is Mike, it seems. So let's pick him up. Add another hat out there. Let's go Rosie. Got some very good defense. And I'll be damned if I don't get Peter on my team with that hair. <laughs> Need somebody who can kick? We're gonna go with blue. Bunch of winners right there. They can't even animate them in 3D. They're just <laughs> static images. Oh gosh, like even when I first load up into this game, you just see a disgusting field. I mean, it is PS1, so I can't really roast the polygons too hard. All right, this is me, I think. Who has the ball? I forget her name. I forget everyone's name. They're hard to remember. They didn't say anything. There's nothing really standing out about them. I just remember Peter has the hair. Blue is blue. <laughs> so I guess I can't choose who's running the ball. She just ended up being the person who has it. Okay, second and eight. Let's try throwing the ball. All right, Peter is our quarterback, though, just like the cover of the game. Oh, and he's throwing dimes. First and goal. We're just going to go QB sneak because they don't even cover this. And I just noticed the clock is counting up versus counting down. When in the world have we ever seen anything like that in a football game? Incomplete. You had him wide open. Figure it out, Peter. Zigzag, zigzag. All right, Mark's on the right. I remember that kid. And then we have Mike. I'll be totally honest. I forget the other girl's name. All day. Hey, how do you drop that? girl's name I forgot fourth and goal we're running it give her some blocks the lead block is there she's running up the middle touch turnover on downs uh, uh, what this game is broken all right well never mind first and 28 I guess we had to pass that line maybe it's a QB scramble okay <laughs> shut up kids screaming in the background I can't think why are we doing punt block get back here Peter get him I, I don't even know who tackled him there I think that was Mike Give me that. Where's the picks? I must say, I think this game is more fun already than like those Disney football games. The steamrollers, the steamroll. I'm gonna lose my mind, but that's a low bar to clear. Turnover on downs. Okay, nobody has scored yet. Let's try throwing it again. <laughs> There's that one kid who just keeps like screaming like he's dying. He's open. Touchdown, there we go. Points. 
Oh, we had a replay. Watch out, everybody. Peter's a lefty, too, it looks like. Let's kick the extra point. Is there even kicks? Why did we even need kicking, then? Is it just for punting? There's obviously no goalposts. What am I thinking? God forbid you program some goalposts into a football video game. Throw the dime. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was not a sound we added in. That was just already in there. Are we stuck on this? The game has frozen in the replay camera. Okay, so kicking actually counts for kickoffs then. That's the only advantage of that. You can't even set a depth chart in this game. It's just chaos. You know, whatever. How do I change players? I don't know. <laughs> We're clocking these kids though. The back of his hat is not rendering in. Oh, he stinks. Is there a difficulty setting? Get back on the screen, Peter. Oh, they're punting. Why is Peter returning it? None of this makes any sense. It's just like, you guys do whatever you want. Everybody run deep. Apparently Peter's got a cannon. Height. Okay. Okay, he's wide open. There you go. Not much run after the catch here, is there? Go zigzag. Maybe we'll catch somebody out in the open. Okay, he's open, but he... Like, right as you throw the ball, they stop in their tracks. There's no, like, running to the pass. See, she stops like she was wide open over there in that corner. <laughs> okay, so when you select a play, you can't go back. So I didn't want to call these plays, but I'm locked into this formation, apparently. Oh, but we got blocks up there. Never mind. Kid in the overalls tackled me. <laughs> Never mind. I take back what I said. This is the worst football game ever played. It's just like a half-baked idea. They're, they probably just saw the success of backyard baseball and football and everything. And they're like, yeah, oh, yeah, it's just some kids playing some sports. Slap it on a game and we'll make millions. That is not the case. You got to actually make a good game if you want people to play it. Man, we have a stout defense. No one is getting anywhere. They're going for it on fourth and 16. It's tackled right over the middle. Intercepted. Nice! I couldn't tell there was any action happening because everyone was standing still. All right, Blue, this is your chance. Run straight up the seam. Hey! Oh, he's still going! Whole ass! Touchdown! We called it before the snap. Atta boy! Let's go for the two-pointer. Why not? Really rub it in. What button is she? Oh, she's standing wide open. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound they make when they get tackled. Just, ugh! I don't want to only control Peter. How do I select literally anyone else? <laughs> Why does that girl have the like the boy sound effect of getting tackled? All right, we won the game. We're in tournament mode, by the way, and I have not seen a bracket of any kind. I don't know who we're going up against next. Does it just immediately put us into a game? Who knows? No, all right, wait a minute. Match one of five. You proceed to the next round of the tournament, but we don't know who we're playing. This is the most lazy game I've ever seen slapped together. Man, I wonder what menu screen they have queued up for me when I win the title. A nice pixel art of a trophy. It's the same field. Wait a minute. Those are the same kids we just played. You're not saying we play the same team five times in a row? This can't be real. This is, I, I've never seen a game like just like half ass it so hard. All right, we're going to score one more touchdown and I think that's going to be enough of this one. Go long, Blue. How far can this kid throw it? Nice. Blue's got some hands. Same route every time. <laughs> he doesn't drop it. I tell you what, they, they just jump all over him the second he gets out there. No run after the catch or anything. Pass intercepted. How would that even... I mean, I can't throw anyone open. Man, I hope you're liking this Peter gameplay because I can't control anybody else. <laughs> There's no, like, statistics either. Nothing. Intercepted. All right, I've had enough. Looks like they got four fields, but they decided we were only going to play on one. I went on to the other fields just to kind of see what they were like, and trust me, they're just as generic. One where you're just playing on concrete. Just as uneventful and confusing. Yeah, it seems like every field is the same. It's just like one with a different color. You got the dirt one. You got the concrete one. You got the grass one. Even the back of the game cover looks like half-assed. Excess kids rule. Tackle this. Kick butt. No ref. Had to throw that in there. We couldn't program a ref. Running timer. Like, yeah, the big selling point. We got a running timer in this game. Oh my god! Real world fields. The yard. Blacktop parking. The sandlot. Or the projects. <laughs> Don't know why they spelled it like that. Now, the second I boot up this game, this looks drastically different. This does not look like a backyard baseball copy. This looks like some anime game that they just slap their label on to make you confused. Like, even the box art makes it look like it's the same as the football game. But none of these characters are featured on that, and they don't even look remotely close. <laughs> I mean, this is definitely some other game that they just, like, bought and slapped their name on. 1998 U-Media. Yeah, so, like, this is a much older game that they just threw out for a U.S. release and said, screw it. I mean, it just has the exact same lack of depth. Don't you worry. 
This is not the game I was expecting to play here, but this is what we got. I will say they have more character. They're more distinguishable. They actually have some animations when they do things. What, what is it with those eyes? Is she even human? Those are just straight up all green. I can't tell if they're meant to be like high schoolers because like the guys on the box art are definitely kids like you would expect from like a backyard game. Let's go with Ryan. Everyone knows the anime kid with the hair flopping over is usually the most OP, right? So do I just select one player or am I selecting multiple here? The game is kind of frozen on me. Is this even playable? <laughs> okay, never mind. We're back in. Woo. <laughs> never mind. Let's go with Chris. He also has the floppy hair over his head. What's next, though? So we actually have the bios of each character. Everyone is wearing just utterly ridiculous clothing. Yeah, definitely high schoolers. Oakwood High, 5'11", 150. Special is Fireball. April's special is a tidal wave. Like, who's clicking through all of this to see their bios? I'm getting tired doing it just for the video. Lightning. Could have not have presented this in a more, like, difficult way. Healing? How do you heal in a dodgeball game? You get hit, you're out. It, the rules are simple. Okay, now that we've seen all the bios of each character, it would be nice to be able to play this game. Let's try the tournament mode. Maybe that one's actually fixed. We just keep getting frozen at this screen. Okay, now we're actually into a game. The versus mode didn't seem to work. I guess that's like a multiplayer mode. I am confused though. Is this 1v1s? 1v1 dodgeball? Or is it just a bunch of clones or generic guys around? So it's just the team captain. How exactly do I go about moving? Um, okay, so it's the D-pad. Hey, throw the ball. Um, so this is like... Okay, this is a different dodgeball than I'm used to playing. So he lost health, but he's still in the game somehow. <laughs> I'm utterly confused. I've seen a couple of anime. I've watched Hunter x Hunter where they played dodgeball one time. Just throw the ball. Um, what is going on? There's a jar of something. Is that beer? That girl just got whacked. I don't exactly know how to move. Pick up the ball. Okay, throwing the ball over there. Okay, that's the pass button. How do I actually throw this damn- Oh, we got one! Dodge, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Why do none of these games ever have like a, a manual on how to play the damn game? That girl got whacked. I can't even dodge. They pulled out a stretcher to pull this girl out of dodgeball. This is a little too violent if you ask me. Run! Okay, we dodge the shit out of that. <laughs> Nobody's catching that. Move! Ah! Oh, get the beer! He's still alive somehow, team captain. I mean, that's straight up cheating once you get hit. How do we use any of these buttons? I don't know. Just keep the team captain alive and I think we'll be all right. Oh, yeah, she took one for the team. <laughs> okay, I just keep pushing this. Oh my, right in the butt cheek. She's definitely down for the count. So she's dead too. Okay, cool. Run, kid. Don't run at the ball, you dummy. Get whacked. So I think I got one of their kids out. Oh! The double hit! I can only control one at a time, so like dodging is insanely difficult. Can I not jump up? He caught it. Does that mean I'm out? Unsure. Woo! They just keep passing back and forth. Okay, that's mine. I can 1v1 this. Get wrecked. What did you just throw a curveball? This is the most confusing and chaotic video I have ever had by far. I still don't know how to play this game, but I think I've seen enough. I'm just utterly confused. How do you slap a completely different game under here and just call it? Okay, continue like it's an arcade game. Oh, it wants me to retry, but I'm not doing that. I have seen enough. So this has the actual studio back in here. Oh, and we have the characters back. So this is actually a continuation of the last game. The dodgeball one was a complete fake. <laughs> same menu and everything. Don't tell me it's gonna be the same fields, just with like slightly altered gameplay. Oh, we actually got a controller set up. They have heard the feedback from the fan. Singular. He said he doesn't know how to play the game. Guess what? They added the control list so you can figure out how to play the game. Shoot is square, got it. Change player is L1, no wonder, I'm a doofus. I, sh I should have known that, obviously. <laughs> no way, it's the exact same fields. I guess we haven't seen Southside yet. Let's go check out the projects with an X. Riveting, it's the exact same game. You're, no way. Let's release the same game, change up the sport. No one's gonna know. Same characters, same fields. Let it rip. I think last time it did not matter who I had on my team. You can't make a depth chart. Who cares about team building when there's no control of it, right? Give me Elmer. Oh, I got the overalls kid. That's who it is. Give me the guy in the blue hat. Why not? I mean, this game was released one year apart, but how much did they even add? Like there wasn't a game to begin with for real. Okay. Wow, this was the ugliest of the bunch. <laughs> it's just a gray floor. 
There's cheering, but there's no one on the side. All right, Peter. He's dodging everybody. Rips it. Okay, that's straight out of bounds. Not like I could really tell. Is it safe to play here? Is that a bulldozer in the background? Are we sure about this? She's kicking it. Oh my goodness. They got Messi on their team. Just look at that kid. Replay. <laughs> oh, we got commentary now. That's where all the budget went. I feel so bad. Like the kid in the green looks so sad, even though his team scored. Peter against the world. Where's the red card? Now Mark's got it. Oh, they actually have a goalkeeper. Is that out of bounds? I can't tell. Rip it. Come on, Peter. Oh, nice header. That was actually a cool animation for that. That get. Oh my, he just put it in the top bins. Why is no one covering him? What are we doing out here? <laughs> just a freebie with the goalkeeper. All right, the AI is horrid. The ball is not even round. I know it's just a bunch of polygons. Oh my goodness, I should have passed that off, but you missed it last time, Peter. I can't believe in you. Dude, these kids are incredible. What is this AI? I'm getting stomped on worse than in the dodgeball game. All right, cover it up. <laughs> oh, but he misses that one. Oh, thanks for the, the controls now. Hit me with that long pass. Oh, where's the flag? All right, I forgot. No refs. This one seems to be the most entertaining so far, I think. The most playable, if you could even call it that. Got it. Congratulations. Come on, Peter. I believed in you. Oh! Come on, Peter! Put it in the corner! <laughs> yeah! Uh, yeah, half time. Orange slices for everybody. Oh, they actually have statistics now. Wow. Amazing. Huge innovation. Oh my. I'm getting hip checked out here by blonde Harry Potter. Oh, crossing them up. Go! Finally, we got one on the board. Mark's got the skills. Oh, okay. Remember, no refs. Go for the kill. Another one. This kid doesn't miss. The hat trick for the tiger kid. Oh, the sauce. Overalls. Dish it back. Don't be the hero, overalls. He's going for it again. You're already on the floor. He hasn't even kicked it yet. I swear if he made it from that distance. Come on, it's 69 seconds. No way to it forget it's counting up. Nice moves. Oh. I mean, I'm collecting some ankles at least. No offsides, who cares? There's no rest. Buckets! Yeah! Making that goalie cry. Yeah! Haul it, Peter. Oh, what a save! We lost the ball though, we're not playing anymore. One timed it. This tiger kid is out of his mind. Oh, he almost got the curve. Yeah! What is this noise? Kill him! Ooh. Fully stretching out. All right, we lost this game too, two to three. I think that one was the most playable of the bunch. Still not good, still an awful game. Do not recommend, but I could at least understand what was happening and it is a game. That's pretty much all I got for this video. Which one was your favorite? I I mean, none of them for me personally, but <laughs> let me know if there's other random games you want me to try out. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you to Patreon supporters, Casey Knox, Ed Dunning, Rosalie Jarecki, and Jeff Coleman.